Bill Clinton gave a speech at the NAACP's annual convention in Philadelphia, and he basically apologized for his poor criminal justice policies. So the International Business Times reports on this. They say, quote, He said his criminal justice policies aimed at reducing violence made the problem worse for the nation's black youth. Now, I actually have his quote here, too. He says, I signed a bill that made the problem worse, and I want to admit it. We've locked up nonviolent drug offenders more than ever before for longer than ever before. Now, this is on top of something he said to CNN, which was, quote, The problem is the way it was written and implemented. We have too wide a net. We have too many uh, people in prison, and we wound up spending putting so many people in prison that there wasn't enough money left to educate them and train them for new jobs and increase the chances when they came out that they could live productive lives. So, for those of you who don't know, of course, the Clinton administration uh, kept the drug war in place, if anything, increased it, and then uh, Clinton also signed the Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act of 1994, which requested 100,000 new police officers and billions more in funding for prisons. And Mr. Liberal, liberal my ass, and it didn't work. And, well, at least now he's coming out there and saying, whoopsies! But why is he saying whoopsies? Let's think about this. He only really started doing this whole mea culpa tour uh, when Hillary ran last time in 08 and uh, now that Hillary's running again. So it's funny how, you know, mum's the word unless slash until somebody in the Clinton family wants to get back in power. Then all of a sudden it's, oh yeah, was I a, a center-right uh, corporatist establishment Democrat? I mean, I'm totally like a progressive now, bro. Believe me. See, that's the thing, man. I don't believe the Clintons. I just don't. I just don't. And that's not to say that Bill Clinton is as bad as George W. Bush or as bad as other neocons. No, of course they're better. I mean, I believe in nuance. I believe it. you know, every not, the world isn't black and white. But the thing is, I have to think that Bill Clinton is saying this because Hillary's running now and uh, he wants her to win. And by the way, Obama just announced more criminal justice reforms to try to get more nonviolent uh, drug offenders out of jail. He just did more commutations and pardons too. So he's like, it's like they're riding the wave. They test the political wins. And then they ride the wave and say, oh, yeah, no, we've been leading all along. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. You know, we know you're the guy who signed the fucking Defense of Marriage Act, which was a fuck you to gay people, and you did it in the 90s because you were a prick and you were riding the wave of anti-gay sentiment that was still there in the nation. Okay, don't tell me that you're some sort of progressive leader. Don't tell me you're some sort of liberal lion. You're not. You're opportunists. You're narcissists. And again, that's not to say that Bill Clinton is just as bad as George Bush, or Hillary Clinton is just as bad as George Bush. Of course not. But they're certainly not Elizabeth Warren, they're certainly not Bernie Sanders, they're certainly not truly principled on this stuff. It's not a coincidence that Hillary is running, she needs to get the progressive base riled up and get them away from Bernie Sanders, so now her husband is like, fuck this drug war, you know what I'm saying, man? I made, a co I made mistakes when I made it worse, let me tell you. Uh, please vote for my wife. Dude, we see right through you. I'm, look, I'm not going to take away full credit because it's still better than not saying anything and letting the mistake stand. At least you are correcting the record. You corrected the record, by the way, on signing the repeal of Glass-Steagall, which you did. You, he took part in deregulation. He apologized for that the last time Hillary ran. So, like, I get it. I'm going to give you a little bit of credit for coming out on the right side now and saying, mm, okay, we were kind of wrong. But the problem is, I just... I can't bring myself to believe you. I would be a naive fool if I believed you. And here's what I mean by that. If slash when Hillary were to become president, do I think that on day one or in year one or in the first term, we will totally have gotten rid of the drug war? And, you know, we'd have policies that really bring back uh, or try to foster racial equality and try to make the situation better for minorities and poor people all around the country and the middle class? I don't believe that. You're saying the right things now, but it, would it translate if Hillary got elected? I don't know, but I lean towards the no side. So forgive me for not uh, believing a politician when they say something and I'm supposed to accept it at face value.